Ah, Manitoba. The Rusty Report, we have broken the news. And now some real breaking news, Bachelor Fantasy Suite episode. Okay, so we begin and Bachelor Virgin Colton says he is ready for the fantasy suite. He just told Chris Harrison he is ready to finally lose his virginity in the fantasy suite. To some lucky gal and quote, wake up in the morning and spend the rest of my life with her. A uh, small problem, Virgin Colton. There are three gals left. So if that happens the first date, do the other two gals just pack up and leave without getting a shot? I say give them all a whirl, Colton. Find out which of those girls is the Mason lawnmower of the group. Vroom, vroom. Because once you drive a Mason, vroom, vroom, nothing else cuts it. Yes, you also need a plan for not only losing your virginity, Colton, but if it is bad sex, then you want to, quote, wake up and get the hell out of there and try the next victim, a bachelorette. Anywho, Colton tells the girls they are flying to Portugal. So again, is this Colton a trust fund kid or where does he get all this money? He's obviously extremely rich, or else how can he afford to take all these gals on these crazy, lavish dates? What does this guy do? They never say it, not a single girl has ever asked. Colton has told two of the gals he is in love with them, but not Hannah G. But he is falling for Hannah too now. Hannah G is a content creator, it says, so she may be able to rectify that by creating content out of Colton's penis. Colton and Tasha have both told each other they have fallen deeply in love and after the skydiving, and Colton has told Cassie's parents he has fallen in love, but not Cassie, and she has not told him she is in love as she is waiting for the fantasy suite. Yes, a smart girl tactic to be the last to declare your love. Go Cassie. But Cassie, the speech pathologist, is too good for him, so he better keep his hands off. Okay, first up is Tasha, the phlebotomist. The wild skydiving woman who is a divorcee, so definitely not a virgin. Colton rents a chopper, so he's laying out some more cash here. Dinner goes well, but Tasha reveals to Virgin Colton that she was a virgin when she got married. Then her husband cheated on her. Well, that's interesting because if Colton does test her out in the fantasy suite tonight, then he has set himself up to potentially cheat on her twice again. The next two nights with different ladies. Oh, fantasy suites. Well, let's see. Tasha is hot to trot and the champagne is flowing. They head for the bedroom and shut the door and commercial. After the break, it is morning in Algarve, Portugal and... They're both smiling big, ooh, but Tasia says she knew Colton was nervous and she didn't want to take advantage or influence him. So they did not get as physical as she wanted. So Colton's still a virgin, technically. I personally believe he got at least a hand job or a blow job. Colton says to the camera though, uh-oh, he is not in love. He is falling in love, and his mind is still thinking of the other two relationships. Tasha says she is having a nervous breakdown, thinking of the other two gals in the fantasy suites, and all she can do now is wait. Yes, Tasha, that is how it is set up. You have never watched this diabolical show. <laughs> Next up, Cassie, the lovely blonde surfer speech pathologist. Colton the Unspoiled shows up. Looks like he rented a sweet Mercedes convertible. If he isn't a trust fund billionaire's kid, he is going to be dead broke by the time he finally loses his virginity. The date goes well and Colton says he is in love with Cassie. Full stop to the camera. Now remember, Cassie is the only gal who has not told Colton she is in love with him. But Colton says he is ready and willing to lose his virginity with her tonight and commercial break. Mmm, Rusty T tastes as good going down as the impending aftermath.
Mm. Okay, I'm excited. Woo! So again, Cassie is too good for Colton, so I have mixed feelings about all this. Colton tells Cassie her dad did not give his blessing for marriage. Uh-oh. And Cassie did not know that, so she gets freaked out. She's about to cry. Ooh, bad move, Colton. She says, I wish you had told me then. Oh, snap. She goes, I am freaked out that my dad did not give his blessing. Oh, this went south quick. She say, says she is now just so, so sad. Colton, what have you done? No wonder you're still a virgin and commercial. Okay, we come back and a stretch Mercedes pulls up and it is Cassie's dad in Portugal. What? What WTF? I guess the producers flew her out. He goes to her hotel room. I think he has come to talk her out of it. He says, do you love him? And she responds, uh, yeah, I actually do. I love him. She is confused. Dad tries to talk her out of it. This is a lifelong decision. If you have any hesitation, back the fuck out. She's crying. This sucks, Dad. This is a bachelor first. The dad coming in to rescue the daughter. I told you she was too good for Colton. This is fantastic. I love this guy. Dad takes off. He just happened to be in the neighborhood of Portugal and stopped by at just the right moment. What a coincidence, producers. And commercial. Okay, we come back and Cassie says she knows what she now has to do. She says, quote, I have to send myself home tonight. Oh, no, but at the same time, yes. We cut back to Colton, who says he is 100% ready to lose his virginity with Cassie tonight in the fantasy suite. Quote, Cass is the one. I see us working forever. And my whole life has led up to tonight. Dinner, and Cassie says, finally, she loves him, but she is not in love. Hmm, same thing Colton just said about Tasha. She cannot get there within the short time frame set up by the show's producers. She tells them she is leaving tonight. Quote, I love you and so much, but I'm not sure I can get there. I can't. I'm sorry. And she runs out. She's leaving. Oh, shit. She stops. I'm second guessing this. And commercial. We come back and Colton follows her and they talk. He tries to talk her into the fantasy suite, but she is just not comfortable at all. Good job, Dad. Colton makes her sit back down, this time on the couch in the fantasy suite. <coughs> Colton says when he does go on dates with the other gals, all he does is think about her. Oh, con man, con man. He was all over. Tasha slammed the bedroom door on the cameraman. Yellow. Ooh, now they are actually arguing. They are actually arguing. He doesn't know where she's coming from. She says she is not sure why she is here if she doesn't know what she wants at the end of this. Oh, snap. He tries begging. He's telling her at the end he wants to be with her. He wants to be with her. I love you. Colton is shaking. He cannot stop. She's freaked out. They hug and break. Okay, we are back. And she just does not know if she can get there. Colton, I can't do this. He says he won't stop fighting for her. She sa says, staying here is the wrong decision for me. Colton goes, so that's it? And yes. He walks her silently off the show. Yes! Cassie was, in fact, too good for Virgin Bachelor Colton. She says, I want you to be with someone who is insanely in love with you. She says she can't get there again. She goes. He says, I'm not mad. I love you. Bye. She says nothing, or the producers cut it for dramatic effect. Well, she's gone. There's no time left for Hannah G's fantasy suite. What's going on? She's gone, and he goes, fuck this, or bleep, bleep this. I'm done with this. He punches the camera going down the stairs. Wait, he said he was not mad? <laughs> He's walking across the grounds of the hotel in the dead of the night and Chris Harrison starts chasing him down. Colton, Virgin Colton, wait. Well, Colton does not stop. He comes up to the big eight-foot wall like a real wall, not a slap fence. And he jumps up, grabs the top, and monkeys over the wall, and he's gone. Elvis has left the building. 
They open this big gate and Chris Harrison goes out, Colton, Colton, oh bleepity bleep bleep, he is gone. And they start chasing him with dogs and to be continued. That was it. No Hannah G date, what a prick. Tomorrow is an explosive women tell all. That's tonight. You cannot miss. I can shove thy heel down your throat, bitch. All your questions will be answered, blah, blah, blah. Next week is an explosive two-night bachelor you will not believe. And Rusty T will have the scoop.